Hello guys, my name is Jenya, welcome to my cleaning channel. In today's video, we're going to be doing exactly that, cleaning. All over this messy house, cleaning, living room cleaning, kitchen cleaning, just real life cleaning. I just went Costco shopping for the month, my kitchen is stuffed with groceries, I don't even know where to put them. My kitchen is a mess, so I'll be dealing with that at first. We also have, finally, our couch arriving today that we ordered way over a month ago. That also is going to turn our living room into a mess because we still have old couch in there at the moment. I'll be taking the Christmas tree out of the way and while cleaning and decluttering the living room, we're gonna need to decide where to place the new couch because that's gonna be a little tricky for us. But maybe you'll have some feedback for me and help us make that decision, but we'll get to that. I'm gonna start in the kitchen right now. I'm just gonna show you the before. I need to start with decluttering some surfaces, wiping them as well, and just do some obvious cleaning in this area. We do have a new puppy that we adopted only a few weeks ago and that definitely holds me responsible for not leaving any kind of dangerous things on the floor, any kind of food or anything that the puppy could choke on possibly. But the kitchen is still extremely messy, the clutter is just mostly on the surfaces and not on the floor. But we will take care of that in just a few minutes here. I hope your 2023 is going great so far, I hope you'll stick to your new year's resolutions if you have made any, I myself do not make any. I quit that habit a long time ago because it just does not work for me because honestly puts a little bit too much pressure on me. I feel like if I make a new year's resolution, I gotta stick to it. And if life gets on the way and I can't stick to the resolution for a one or even two days, then I get discouraged. But maybe that's just me. If you have been holding on to your new year's resolution so far, I honestly wish you all the luck. And you can let me know in the comments what your resolutions are, if you wish, of course. But if you have broken your new year's resolution, I hope you don't feel bad. I think it's something like 80% of the new year's resolution solutions that get broken by I think February, maybe March and that's not to discourage anybody but either way please don't feel bad because if you look at it realistically changes, any kind of changes can be made at any time of the year. I think it's all about mindset but anyways for those who may be new I am Jenya and I am a mom of two toddlers. I am married to my American husband for about four years now. We have moved into this house about six months ago. We're still kind of adjusting and we just got ourselves a new puppy and we also have a cat. We love this house and we're planning to stay here for a very long time. So there is going to be an occasional room makeover video, but mostly it's cleaning, decluttering and organizing that you will find on this channel. As for this kitchen table, I just tried using the eraser on the other marks and it worked perfectly except for this red mark. And I'm not quite sure what it is. It's a possibility that it's a permanent red marker, but I doubt that. So if you happen to have any suggestions on getting some tough spots off of my wooden kitchen table, where the magic eraser wouldn't do its magic, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. I would appreciate that. Well, some of you might get worried thinking that the dog can get poisoned with the raw potatoes that I have down there. But actually, he is not after the potatoes. He is just after the bag because I am holding it at the moment. He just wants to take everything that I have and chew on it. That's all it is. But after doing some research on Google, it states that obviously you shouldn't give a dog any raw potatoes. It's not good for them. They're toxic for them. I didn't see anything about raw potatoes killing dogs, but unpleasant side effects, yes, that's going to happen. But this dog is definitely not after my raw potatoes, he's just after the bags. Silly me, I just wanted to start putting some dirty dishes into the dishwasher only to realize, of course, that it is full of clean dishes that I would have to empty. So I'll do that later. 
I finally decided to give power paste a try on my glass stove top. However, not all of this is dirt. Some of these are scratches that probably will not go away no matter what I do. I just feel so lucky. I've tried a lot of things on this stove top so far and I think this is just as clean as it can get. Like I said, a lot of these are just scratches that the stove top already had. I already tried pink stuff on it, a barkeeper's friend, the soft liquid one. I do use my scraper on it whenever I need to, but I did not put a single scratch on it with that scraper though. So all of those products have worked pretty well. This is just as clean as the cooktop gets, but I wanted to ask you guys, is there a favorite cleaning product that you like using on your glass stovetop? You can let me know in the comment section below. I know I told you in the intro that I just went to Costco to shop for the whole month, which I normally do. My fridge is stuffed. These are just a few fruits that would not fit anywhere else. I don't know what to do with them, but there's a DIY structure sort of that I made a couple of months ago on the other side of the kitchen. I'll show that to you in a second. I figured I might as well try and fit my fruits in there. Whenever I need my fruits or vegetables to be ripened before we eat them, I don't like putting them all over my counters because the counters are just going to be full of fruits and vegetables all of the time because we eat them so much. So I figured instead of sticking my towels in here, which I'm not supposed to do anyway, I just need to find another space for my towels. I thought I would just put my fruits in here, the ones that don't necessarily need to go into the fridge right away. And I think that looks a little bit better, however, that plastic basket is just not the quality that I need it to be for that kind of organization. Obviously, this is the dollar store quality, I need to rethink this whole corner again Again. but for now I'm just gonna put some fruits in there and see how they're gonna hold up and here I decided to freeze a couple of bananas before they go bad I don't know about you but whenever I make smoothies lately I noticed that frozen bananas for some reason just make the smoothie taste better than if I use fresh bananas maybe it's just my imagination but let me know if you feel the same as well I go to bed to get up early I go to work my husband just recently broke a glass nowhere near this area however isn't it amazing how broken glass gets magically absolutely everywhere even if you break it on the other end of the room and also how long does it take to get rid of all of this broken glass i don't know but i know that weeks later after cleaning up broken glass you still find little bits and pieces of it so even though i wipe this countertop daily i still found a little piece of glass just now and i'm going to make sure that I'm going to wipe it with paper towel first and then on top of that I'm also going to spray it and wipe it with a microfiber cloth. And now I'm fine by then. I haven't had any fruit flies in a long time in this kitchen, however, I still like to make this little mixture just in case. Just apple cider vinegar to attract the flies with the smell and then some dish soap to make sure that they get stuck in there and can't get out. So I always like to keep that next to my fruit. As always, I'm just using my all-time favorite, all-purpose DIY cleaner. It is equal parts of alcohol, white vinegar and water and just one drop or two of dishwashing soap. I shake it up and it's ready to go and I use it on glass too. Back at the spot where you first kissed me I don't feel a thing, although I should I learned my lesson last year 
And now I'm fine again Wanted to do a little update. I think you've only seen this puppy when he was tiny. We've had him for almost a month now, and this is his size at the moment. Even though I see him absolutely every day, I still notice how fast he is growing from day to day. He sleeps a lot, that's what he is doing right now. And when he is not asleep, he just wants to destroy everything around him. Just a typical normal cute puppy. Back to the kitchen, I just unloaded the dishwasher and now I'm going to load it back up. Then I'm gonna need to clean the sink lightly and vacuum the floors and after that we're gonna switch to the living room and the new couch that is about to arrive. The sink is new and what has been working for me lately with this grid is just turn it upside down and then wipe it with either dishwashing soap or all-purpose cleaner just to make sure that it doesn't get slimy. I can't stand the thought of it getting slimy on the bottom. Alright, the kitchen is done, let me show you the after pictures and then we'll move to the living room. Keep clocking all my hours, I told you that. Work now, play later, but you keep going off on me. Keep texting like it's all on me, yeah, you're all in my head like. You're my forever, not for right now. My day one, you hold me. Alright, we got a small couch arriving that we have been waiting for forever now and we were not expecting it to actually arrive because they've been promising that for forever now and I stopped really believing that it's going to happen. But here they are and we had to clean up the room really fast with my daughter. 
So they're just gonna drop it in the middle of the living room I asked them to and then when my husband gets back home he's gonna move the old leather couch out of the way and out of here and then later on we'll move the chair as well. We got this couch from Sam's Club during Black Friday deals. We got it for $635 total. Even though it wasn't my ideal color I still couldn't find what I really really loved at a really really good price and we just decided to get this one. So now we're gonna try a couple of ways to place this couch into this living room. The old one is just a couch and the new one is L-shaped. So first we're just gonna put it in place of the old couch and then we're gonna change it around a little bit. You can let me know in the comment section which one you like better or maybe you have another option in mind. But yeah, we were a little bit puzzled as to what place would work better, but it's not glued to the floor, we can always change it around at any time. The old couch is gonna end up in the basement eventually because we have some plans for the basement. But for right now, my husband is just gonna move it into his office temporarily. And these were just a couple of things that we found from under the couch. Unfortunately, I didn't have my floors vacuumed before the couch arrived, so I'll give it a quick vacuum right now and then a proper one a little bit later in this video. Then I get questions from time to time what kind of vacuum it is. It is cordless Dyson V10 and I love it, but I am also now a regular at calling Dyson customer service. So right now I had to stop vacuuming because I had a filter message on my Dyson. But before washing the filter, I wanted to check a small spot that gets blocked a lot of times and it is that hole right there, but this time it was empty, so I didn't have to empty it so I just decided to go ahead and wash the filter which you have to do I think every month anyway I'm just gonna rinse it the way the instructions show and then I'm gonna put it on a flat surface and dry it for 24 hours I stopped filming the video by then but now I can tell you that that fixed the vacuum so overall would I buy this vacuum again absolutely yes I love it but I only had it for a year and I already had to replace two parts for free of course now my husband is gonna take off this shelf it doesn't belong here in my opinion so we're gonna just hang our entryway picture here instead because we have an extra round mirror for the entryway. The couch is quite small and that chair on the right is still gonna have to go, not right now but in a few minutes. And then we're gonna have that spot empty so we were quite confused as to put the couch right there against the wall or maybe just place it in the middle of the room, kind of as a divider. Otherwise it will be too far from the TV and then all the empty spots that are empty for now are not really a big concern of mine because we can always find some pretty piece of furniture to put there. I just have to give it a thought and maybe ask you, maybe you have some ideas. But then we're gonna move that chair from behind the couch, we're gonna leave it like that for right now and I'm going to also get rid of that Christmas tree because it is time. So get rid of all the decorations, clean the room properly and then move the chair and see what it looks like after. After that.
This tree is definitely not the best looking, especially with the only middle part lights working. I can't guarantee that we're gonna buy another tree next year, so maybe we actually will buy a real tree because this house is actually located next to one of those places where they, you know, chop and then sell Christmas trees. We have one right around the corner. I've never had a real Christmas tree. We'll see what we'll do next year. wanted to share not such a pleasant story with you. I have filmed this video in a few days here and there and right now it's going to be the next day of me cleaning this living room and that morning Anya, my daughter, my three-year-old, the one that's dressed like a princess, she fell down the stairs. Nobody saw how that happened but we definitely heard it and we definitely saw that she was holding on to her collarbone or her shoulder in other words. So she had her collarbone broken and at the moment her dad or my husband is picking up slang to wear for the next six weeks actually. Unfortunately, doctors cannot do anything else about a broken collarbone. You just have to let it heal. It's like a broken rib, I guess. It also is very common with toddlers to break their collarbones, unfortunately. Anyways, I thought it was the cutest thing when we asked her, is there anything that we can do to make you feel better? And all she said while crying at the same time is that she wanted to be a princess in a pink dress. Therefore, now she is whatever makes her feel better. So she was wearing that pink dress with her sling all day that day. On a different topic, while I was taking down all the decorations, while me being an amateur at decorating, I was wondering, it is just the Christmas decor that's supposed to go down, right? And the winter decor can still stay up. I mean things like the red berries as well as the pine branches. I consider those winter decor and those are the only ones I really have for winter and I'm just not ready to take them down yet. And I know it's my house, my rules, I don't have to take down whatever I don't feel like taking down yet, but if I'm missing something here, please feel free to let me know in the comments comments. As far as I understand, the next holiday to pull out the next decorations for would be the Valentine's Day. So up until mid-February, I can still have my winter decor up. So I still gotta do a couple of touch-ups, get rid of that Christmas tree box, do some cleaning such as vacuum the floor, wipe down the mantle as it's got some fake snow all over it, get rid of the chair from behind the couch and see how it looks. I forgot to mention that we do have that white coffee table in the corner right next to the window. It's behind me right now and I do like that coffee table a lot but I get a few comments asking me why don't we just use it as a coffee table by putting it in the middle of the room and not somewhere in the corner and that makes all sense however our toddlers are definitely gonna smash their heads on it. Even if I have the protective corners the edges are still a little bit too sharp in my opinion and we just know that it's not gonna end up good. My husband definitely wants to just move it out of the room at least for now while the kids are little so for now I just moved everything off of that table and maybe we'll move it sometime soon I just want to find something to put into that corner first anyways I got this three-tier moving tray for Christmas as a present I love this organizer I can use it for so many things but for right now I just found it really useful for diapers just as a diaper changing station it might not be the prettiest option but what I have right now which is that bin with all the diapers inside of it it might be out of the way but it's just not as handy as this little organizer so that's what I decided to use it for for right now these yellow plastic bags are for dogs when you take them outside I don't even know where they came from or if we need that many for right now at least I haven't had to use any of them yet so I'm gonna store them next to my son's diaper disposable bags and I'm gonna see if they are okay to use as disposable diaper bags as well
I honestly lost count how many days it took me to straighten out that living room. So this is one of the next mornings my husband is trying to go to work and I'm just asking him to please move that chair out of the way. I think this space right now could work for the dog's pen. I don't know if he's gonna need his pen when he grows up, but for right now I just can't think of any other places. Right now it's in the middle of everywhere and just on the way. And I thought maybe this little gap could work for it. I'm gonna leave it as is right now and see if my husband thinks that it's a good idea. And I realized that I also forgot to wipe down the mantle with all that fake snow on it. So that is the last thing I gotta do. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feeling just loving So yeah, I'm leaving my red berries and green winter branches up. You can definitely let me know in the comments if you have left any of your winter decor up. I would love to hear and also what kind of winter decor it is. I am now starting to vacuum the stairs and just going to move upstairs to clean some other areas. But this video is coming to an end today. I really hope that you'll get some things done on your to-do list today. Can't wait to hear from you in the comment section, especially if you have any suggestions for this couch. And other than that, I wish you would have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye now.